PlayStation, I can't believe you ran out of free space. Why did that happen so fast? Oh. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. If you're anything like me, you ran out of free space pretty quick on your PlayStation 4, and actually it ends up being more normal than you think. Believe it or not, there are so many factors in today's day and age that really fills up the hard drive space on the PlayStation so fast that you're scrambling for options to free up that space again. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my initial thoughts on my new purchase of the Western Digital Gaming Drive, which is an external hard drive for the PlayStation 4. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to connect it to the PlayStation 4, how to set it up, how to move games over into the new hard drive so you can finally free up that space again. And then I'm gonna show you some really clear reasons why you really should be getting an external hard drive right this minute. And as always, if you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest videos. Let's get right into it. So as you can see behind me, you can probably notice that it got to the point where my free space got filled up so much that it no longer became free. It got to the point where when I was playing Call of Duty and every new season was coming out, those big, big updates that were filling up that hard drive space were saying, we can't fill up this space anymore because you're out. So you need to free up that hard space by deleting games or getting rid of old updates, or we're just not gonna do the update. Oh. So I scrambled on the internet and what did I find? I found the new Western Digital Gaming Drive, which actually is really, really cool. And as you can see behind me, I don't wanna unplug it because I have it running right now, but it's, it's a pretty small, sleek unit. And um, this is actually a four terabyte hard drive, which is massive compared to what things used to be in the past and how big they were in storage. Um, so just for comparison's sake, I actually have a, a two terabyte hard drive that I use to back up the raw footage of these YouTube videos that you're seeing now. And it really isn't like that much of a of a difference in size and they weigh pretty much about the same. Right off the bat, I'm so pleased um, that, well, first of all, you can get a two terabyte gaming drive, um, which is actually slightly, maybe 20, $30 cheaper uh, US dollars than the four terabyte uh, gaming drive. But that extra $30 with the reasons I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video, will pay for itself many, many, many times over in time and money. I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you'll also have a chance to check out the same exact hard drive that I have here, which is the WD Gaming Drive. That's my initial thoughts on the way that it looks. Now let's jump right in and I'll show you how easy it is to connect it and set it up. So it's actually fairly easy to connect and it really surprised me um, just how easy it was. What I did was I ended up uh, hooking it up to the front of the PlayStation because what I actually do is when I capture video for YouTube videos um, as a screenshot, my, U my USB dongle that I use will actually only fit in the back of the unit because there's three USB ports. So I actually plug it in the front, um, which that's okay. Um, the only thing you need to remember is that in order for a har an external hard drive to work properly, with your PlayStation 4, um, it does need to be at least USB 3.0. Um, and there's a lot of hard drives out there, but um, I wanted to get this gaming drive, which was specifically made for uh, PlayStation 4 uh, external unit, just so that I could get it and then um, review this for you guys and tell you uh, my awesome experience with it. So let's set it up. So what you wanna do is you wanna plug it in first. It's actually really, so you'll see, um, for me, a discovery bar popped up and it said, you can install applications and extended storage. Um, other things like save data, screenshots, uh, video clips, will save only in system storage, which to me was okay because mo a huge majority of my stuff that's saved on this hard drive will be applications, which is also known as games. And games are just taking up more and more and more of our hard drive space on our PlayStation 4 that it's getting to the point that we need to move it over to the extended storage. Setting it up, so you go up to uh, settings, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go down to where it says uh, devices and then now once you're in the devices menu you want to actually go down to where it says 
USB storage devices since you just plugged that um, Western Digital Gaming Drive into the, into the USB port of the PlayStation 4. Then once you go into USB storage devices, you should be able to see a title up on the menu that reads Gaming Drive by Western Digital, as well as the amount of free space that's remaining on it. Once you go into it, you push the X button to enter. So for me, since I already plugged this in, um, I get two different readings on here that say that I can manage the content that's already in there, or I can stop using the extended storage so that I can safely unplug it from the console. But in your case, when you first plug it in, it'll show up as um, you want to uh, format it as extended storage so that it'll read up here that it's formatted for PS4. So then what you want to do is you want to hit enter. And then once you hit format, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do that? And then what you want to do is you want to hit yes. And then once it hit, once you hit yes, the formatting is actually super quick. It only took like a few seconds for it to go through. Um, and then it was successfully formatted as a extended storage for your PS4 hard drive. Now, once you've successfully formatted your hard drive, it should return you back to this menu, the USB storages devices menu, that'll show now a green dot. And that green dot indicates that the Western Digital Gaming Drive is now your extended uh, storage unit formatted for PS4 and is successfully connected to your console. Once your hard drive is successfully formatted, you can now do two things. One, you can um, take your existing games that are filling up your hard drive, your internal hard drive on your PlayStation 4, and you can now ship those games over to your Western Digital Gaming Drive, which is your extended storage unit, and or you can also set you can also set it up as a um, application install location. So anytime you purchase a new game on the PlayStation Store or uh, pop in a disc and it has to um, apply some things onto the install unit, you can now install that onto the uh, external hard drive, which is really cool. So let's go over um, first how to um, make it an application install location so that every time you install a game, it will now go straight to the external hard drive instead of filling up unnecessary space on your internal hard drive. We'll do that by going under storage. And now that your, uh, your gaming drive is successfully formatted as extended storage for the PlayStation 4, you should see a second box under system storage that now says extended storage and it'll read out um, how much memory has been currently used up on it and then also how much is left over. So you can see here I already have it set for application install location which means that anytime I install a brand new game onto the PlayStation 4 it'll, um, it'll go straight into the extended storage. But if that application install location label is not up on there yet, you can simply just push the options button and then see how it pulled up application install location on here. So you can hit the X button and then you can choose whether you want your internal system storage to be the install location or extended storage, which if you're buying this extended hard drive, it probably means you're gonna need to uh, free up space on it. So choose extended storage and then it'll automatically set it up and that's simply how you set your install location on your external hard drive now let's go to the second part so the second part is you already have a ton of games that are taking over a ton of room on your playstation 4 and you want to move some of those games over to your external hard drive here's how we do that so what you want to do is you want to go back into your system storage and then you want to enter into what it says applications. Applications also means games. And then from here, you'll be able to see all of your existing games that are on your internal hard drive. So in this example, I went down and chose Uncharted 4 because that was a smaller gigabyte size. Um, I want to do that for this video to find out how long it took to, uh, to move over from internal system storage to external system storage. And at first it said it would only take 10 minutes, but it was actually a little longer than I thought. So just as a precaution here, if you plan on moving uh, an application over to a um, extended storage or your external hard drive, 
you want to be able to have enough hours in your day, um, preferably overnight when you're not playing your PlayStation 4, so that you give it time to move over to your um, external hard drive. But for that one small setback, this Western Digital Gaming Drive is so worth the purchase because now I have an extra four terabytes of room, extra room, so that I don't have to delete games or do anything like that just to free up hard drive space on the PlayStation 4. So if you want to move games over to your uh, extended storage, now once you're in a game, all you have to do is push options and then uh, move to extended storage. And then what that'll do is that'll start the process of moving your, your um, application or game over to your uh, extended storage device. So now I want to talk about why you should be getting a Western Digital Gaming Drive or external hard drive with USB 3.0 right now. One biggest reason is games are just exponentially becoming bigger and bigger. Um, if I go into my system storage where I originally installed Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I am breaching 200 gigabytes already and that is for one game the PlayStation 4 I'm running right now has a one terabyte internal um, System hard drive and it's already one-tenth of the way there. That's horrible That's only saying as games are getting bigger at this rate. I might only be able to put 10 games on the hard drive I mean even Gran Turismo Sport is well above 100 gigabytes Games are only becoming larger and larger, which makes sense because there's more and more features that are coming out for them, more and more updates, but even those updates are getting bigger too. So as things are getting larger and larger for gaming, you're going to need more space. And an extended storage drive like the Western Digital Gaming Drive is such a worthy purchase because then you're not deleting games to free up space or what actually what Activision recommends you do to free up uh, hard drive space is to eliminate features of the game like spec ops and missions and things like that which are um, multiplayer packs. They want you to eliminate some of those so that you can free up space. Well, I mean to me that's not worth it. You want every full game, you want to be able to access them right away. To do that, it's it's simple. Get get a get a gaming drive so that you can have that extended storage and you can pull it up right away. I want to mention here real quick that Playing games on an extended storage or an internal storage uh, unit, which is inside your PlayStation 4, work pretty much the same. I've had no issues, uh, so you'll probably see that I had something on there already. So now I have Grand Theft Auto 5 and Uncharted 4 on there. So I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 again, and um, it runs extremely smooth. It's it's like it's no different than if I was running it on on the internal uh, system storage and I thought that maybe there would be some discrepancy there if it was on one versus the other and to me so far that is just not the case finally and this is the biggest reason and I thank you if you stayed through until this part of the video because you're gonna get the biggest benefit out of uh, out of an extended storage unit an extended hard drive for the PlayStation 4 actually future proofs yourself to the PlayStation 5. What do I mean by that? The, play, the PlayStation 5 will also allow you to hook up the same exact hard drive that you've used for games on your PlayStation 4 and run them just like they did for the PlayStation 4. The only difference though is that it'll only be able to accept PlayStation 4 games on a hard drive and once the PlayStation 5 comes out, you'll have to you'll only be able to play PlayStation 5 games on the internal storage unit. But wait, remember how I said that games are getting larger and larger as time goes on, as we saw on the screen? Well, what do you think PlayStation 5 games are gonna be? They're gonna be humongous. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need as much internal system storage as possible in order to hold those PlayStation 5 games and be able to run them all at the same time. As if you want to play a PlayStation 4 games on there, having an extended uh, hard drive plugged into the PlayStation 5 will be a huge benefit because now you won't have to be uh, installing any or moving any PlayStation 4 games onto the PlayStation 5. That's just going to make life so much easier, so much simpler. And I want to mention one more thing too. If you have multiple PlayStations around the house or you want to go to a friend's house that might not have that game that you do on your PlayStation 4 at home, you can actually 
go back into um, USB storage devices. And remember how I said earlier that I had different stuff on here? What you can do is you can simply just stop using this extended storage and then you can uh, safely disconnect it from the PlayStation 4 and then hook it up to any PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 that you wish with your account, which is great because you don't have to worry about uh, PlayStation 4 games only being on your PlayStation 4 anymore or physically picking up your PlayStation 4 Pro, which is massive, or any PlayStation for that matter, and picking it up and physically disconnecting it from your TV and then taking it over to a friend's house or you know, if you're going camping or something or um, out of town. You don't have to do that anymore. All you have to simply do is just stop using this as extended storage. It still keeps your games in there nice and tidy. You can simply safely disconnect it from the PlayStation 4 and then finally play it on any uh, PlayStation 4 or 5 console that you want. And that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.